here and with that we start seeing the changing colors of the leaves, but when the leaves start changing earlier than we're used to, there could be an underlying issue many of us don't realize. And here to share more on what we can look out for and when peak color will arrive is Aaron Flint. Good morning, Aaron. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, we're starting to see some of the colors change on the on the trees. When should we really start seeing more of those leaves really change? Sure, um, right about now, actually, with the cooler weather and the uh, equinox just happening, the the times of the day and the sun getting uh, shorter, the changes are happening now. So generally it's the last week or so in september for here in indianapolis and then could be as late as mid-october but uh, with the cooler weather that we're happening in the next week or so we should start seeing those colors change well something that i didn't realize is the different colors of the leaves or maybe changing colors too early might not always be positive when you have those trees kind of in your area or in your yard Talk to me a little bit more about that, just so I can even be more educated on that. Correct. Yeah. So if you if in your yard or along your street or in your parks, um, if you start seeing colors change before about this time, late uh, late September, then it could be a sign of a health issue. There's multiple different reasons. Um, there is pests such as, um, you know, insects or um, there's also diseases and funguses, and there's also some other underlying root conditions and even weather. You know, we just got out of a really long drought period, and sometimes those weathers and even some of the heat, if, if trees are around uh, pavement or just really a lot of gray, gray infrastructure, they also can, can show some signs of early leaf fall um, or leaf color change at that point too. So if if before this period, if you were seeing yellow, reds, and browns that are hanging on the trees, um, or even if you don't have any leaves on your trees right now, you probably wanna contact a local arborist, an ISA certified arborist, and talk with them about what you're seeing about your tree, because it could be an underlying issue. So when you contact a local arborist, what are some of the things that they can do to improve the health of the tree? Can it be saved if you're seeing some of those leaf changing issues that you spoke about? Right, um, there are, to a degree, um, if there are no leaves right now on the tree, um, you may not be able to, to, to save them, but sometimes uh, some of those crab apples can lose their leaves pretty early. Um, there are, poor health, but if you get the right sort of program going, um, you know, there's some foliar applications. Uh, there's potentially, depending on the, the pest that's there, um, some tree injections. And then you also have, um, you know, fertilization and mulching and watering. But the best thing you can do is to routinely look at your trees throughout the year. And if you start just seeing minor changes um, in the leaf surface or some growth on the leaves um, that's just abnormal to what you're you're um, you're used to then you again you might want to con contact that that local arborist and get their opinion well thank you so very much aaron for joining us here on hometown living we're going to get some more information out to our viewers if they're noticing any changes in their trees you can call 317 759-5477. You can also check out Davy.com or on social media. Facebook is Davy Tree and Twitter as well.